So I see you made it to the fridge yet again. And you know what that means. It means that we are making and rating viral TikToks today. Listen, it's been a few months since we've done it and there's a few that look incredible that I just have to try and I have to let you know if you need to make them at home. So without any further ado, it's time to get it popping. Let's go. Before we jump into the first video, my name is Farnham. If you don't already know, this is more seasoning and I'm wearing my booty shorts today because I'm about to go crazy in the kitchen. First recipe, let's watch. This salad is the reason I married All right, it's a lot of cucumbers. Uh, big chop, okay. Listen, I gotta get my veggies in, so I'm into this. Okay, red onion, definitely gonna cry, unfortunately. I got a tomato knife, I'll use it. Okay, some Roma tomatoes, Kalamata. This looks so fire. Lemon, olive oil. Ooh, listen, as somebody who's got to get a little bit more veggies in, I'm super stoked to try this. Let's go. Listen, if there's two long, hard things by me, you know it's cucumber time. These are long and hard, and we're about to cut them in. These are long, hard, and healthy, and we are going to finally chop them up just like this. Slice. Slice them right down the middle. Then we go hit this with some very, very thin lines. And then without slicing off our fingers, we're just going to go through and hit this with a nice, fine chop. And now we take our cucumber mountain into the bowl. Uh, I just have to say, this is a lot of cucumbers. Next, we got half a red onion. We're going to split like gymnastics. Then we're going to sink this knife in sideways. Hit it with some thin little slices. Why must you always make me cry? <sighs> And then we're gonna put the little tear jerkers into the bowl. All right, I forgot that I wanted to run these under some cold water. Come and make it rain, time. Oh, shit. Now we gotta hit this with some tomatoes. She told me to use my tomato knife, so that's what we're gonna do. In half we go. Then we hit it with the cross chop. Get those tomatoes in there. It's looking beautiful. Next, we got these Kalamata olives. They will give you bad gas. All right, I'm gonna take my bench scraper and then I'm just gonna kind of flatten these out just a little bit so they're not rolling around too crazy on me. There we go. Take my knife. We're just gonna hit these guys with a fine chop. I love you, baby. Now we're hitting it with the juice of not one, but two lemons. Now we hit it with a little bit of olive oil and now we're just gonna get a little salty. Now let's go ahead and mix. It's time for the taste test. We're scooping from the bottom just to get some of that beautiful juice out of there. Uh, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. You know what I think? Here we go. Big spoon, big bite, big vibes. Ma'am, this recipe is on another level. I have never found a more tasty, easy way to consume vegetables. We're doing the star scale right now. If you don't know what it is, five stars means I highly recommend it. Wouldn't change a thing. Four stars means that it's bomb, but there's things I would do to make it better. Three stars means it's okay, it's whatever. Two stars, I don't recommend it. It's not that great. And one star, puke, gross. This right here, five star recipe. I'm so happy we started off the video with five stars. Let's go to the next one. All right, so we just got a five star recipe on the first go. Super exciting. Let's hit the second one. Come on. Rose. Uh. Holes. Uh. Ham. Ha ham. Cheddar cheese. Add garlic butter to the bread. Okay, okay. Add That's a cheese. lot of butter. Whoa. Mozzarella. A little bit of Italian seasoning. A little right on top, okay. Bake at 350 until the cheese is melted. Okay, let's see it. Uh, you know what, listen, I'm not a ham and cheese fan per se, but uh, this looks like it might be pretty easy and pretty fire, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off with some King's Hawaiian rolls. You can't go wrong. All right, so basically what I figured out is I just kind of take a knife and then I just kind of do a little circle right in the middle of this and then we just treat it like a hair plug. You just go in there, pull it right on out. All right, so I'll be honest, I'm not a ham connoisseur per se, but I did get a Virginia fresh sliced ham, so we're just gonna cut these and try to fit them in the holes. Let's go. All right, so I know green eggs usually goes pretty good with ham, but uh, I guess we're gonna try some cheddar and mozzarella and Italian seasoning. All right, now I'm just going in and getting some fresh slices of some medium cheddar. She didn't specify, but that looks about good to me. All right, now we're just shoving some cheese into these ham holes. For some reason, that sounds so derogatory and so awful, but I promise it's not. She said garlic butter, so let there be garlic butter. She did not specify how much butter, so I just am gonna go ahead and take a whole stick and mix it up. All right, so again, all we saw was how much butter she did. I don't know if that was one stick, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of liberally get this butter where it needs to go. It's Rella time, let's go. 
We're just gonna go ahead and cover the top of this, just like she did. And now a little Italian seasoning. All right, she said 350 until the cheese has melted. So this guy right here, he's gonna be my little soldier and he's gonna tell me when this is done. So let's go. All right, so it's been about seven minutes and uh, if you ask me, that looks pretty good. We got some nice toasting going around on the edges, a little bit of browning. Everything looks nice and melted, so we're gonna let this cool off for a second. And then we're gonna taste test, let's go. All right, cue the dramatic music, it's time. We're going in, I'm gonna just try to tear this apart gently. Here we go, this is the one I've had my eye on. Here we go, holes, rolls, ham in three, two, one. I gotta have one more just to try. Okay, so as you can see, myself and Jamari have had a few pieces. I really wanted to be able to diagnose the reason why I'm giving this three stars. One, the texture of the ham, it just kind of throws me off. It's kind of like gummy and chewy. It's, it's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. And on top of that, like the only other flavor I'm really getting is sweetness from the bread and the garlic from the garlic butter, but it just feels like it's missing something. I don't think it's gross. I think if we added some elements to this, it could be a lot better, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and give this a three star, you could try it for yourself. Very basic, very simple, and uh, it's, it's just not there for me. All right, so this is the one I am the most Bye. for. I'm not even gonna lie, I've been looking forward to this one all night. Let's give it a watch. Good luck taking just one bite of the spicy jalapeno patty. Oh First man. Your some onions, some peppers, that bread. We could do better on those patties though, that's for sure. For sure, it looks fire though. Okay. Okay, the pepper jack. Sriracha mayo. Oh my God, that looks incredible. Let's make it. Watch your eyes and watch your genitals. We're doing one whole jalapeno and I'm slicing this all the way down. We are going to take all of these seeds out. And then I just go ahead and run the knife under that little vein. Then we're doing thin slices down the whole damn pepper. Watch your fingers. All right, and then we're just gonna hit this with a nice little cube auction. I don't judge people's recreational activities, but I promise you this is a bowl of green you do not want to smoke. Ugh, we're doing half a white onion. And then we're gonna come in for a nice fine cube. All right, so I literally I literally just finished baking this glorious loaf of bread. As you can see, we work, we work very, very hard in this kitchen. If you believe that I have made this piece of bread from scratch, please scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment below and let me know how full of shit I am. Let's cut this thing up. Nice and gentle, just let the serrated teeth do the work for us. All right, so this is gonna be our second piece right here. I mean, that's gonna be our sandwich right there. It's a little big, it's a little clunky, but we're gonna make it work, come on. All right, right here we've got 80-20 ground chuck and I've got it balled up very loosely. We're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. Then we're gonna tap dance them around just pick up any excess salt and pepper that we have. Let's make our mayo. We're doing mayo, Dukes, of course, a little sriracha, and yes, this is actually the same exact spicy mayo you get with your sushi. And we're gonna hit it with a little mix. All right, so I've got story time for you guys real quick. Basically, what happened was, right before we were about to taste it, I noticed my mic died. So I'm basically gonna give you a run through of exactly what we did to the sandwich in order to get to the end. So we had our peppers and onions, they were being tossed and they had a beautiful brown Maillard reaction on them. We scooped those into a bowl. Then we hit our burgers on there. We gave them a nice firm press. Look at all the sizzling action. And actually, I am going to give you a secret on how to get rid of the sizzling. And this is all you have to do. Then we gave those burgers a beautiful flip. They look great on both sides. We pulled them out and then we just hit some butter on the pan. We melted it, threw our bread on there for a nice toast. Then I went ahead and put our burger and our cheese on, hit it with a lid in order to steam that cheese to get it nice. After that, some sriracha mayo on both sides. Then we hit it with our peppers and onions. We closed it up just like a murder case from the 70s. And damn it, it's time to taste test. We're about to cut this and taste test it. Let's go. Look at that, baby. All right, let's try it. This just needs a little bit more of that sriracha mayo. 
right, let me explain to you exactly what I'm thinking. Right now, I'm giving it a four star. And the reason I'm giving it a four star is because it hit every base, but it was almost like the burger itself kind of took away from the sandwich because there wasn't enough flavor in the burger. And I think that's my bad because in the video, she heavily seasons it. I only use salt and pepper for the most part when it comes to using red meat. I do believe if I would have put some, maybe some what the f sauce and some heavy burger seasoning on there, I would have just brought it to a whole nother level and just kissed that five star rating that I need. So I'm gonna give it a four star because I messed up, but I think that if this was done exactly how she did it, it would be a five star. It was still really, really good. All right, let's hit the last one. All right, so not only did I botch the audio on the last one, I botched the sandwich itself, a potential five star because I didn't put the suggested seasoning on. So hopefully on this fourth and last one, we can get it right. Let's go. I like to have delicious food Ooh. for every single meal. And when Ooh. it comes to pasta, I don't want to spend okay. hours cooking it. So this I feel is one you. Of my I think I've tried one of her recipes before. Round two? Okay. Ravioli. Gar mm. Okay. The red onion. Interesting. Okay. Yep. 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 Some peppers, some broccoli, milk. Oh, some ricotta. Okay. The pasta water. Listen, if we're gonna <laughs> if we're gonna get it right, we're gonna get it right right now. Let's go. All right, so let's start with the green pepper. All right, we're gonna slice right down the side. Let's get a little another little nug. It's about half right there. Let's cut it up into little bricks. She said one medium red onion. This is half of a large one, so. And the good old cross chop. All right, so basically what we're gonna be doing is cutting these florets into little itty bitty pieces. I'm not a huge broccoli fan, but you know, we'll get it going. You know those vampires ain't coming around me because it's time to chop up some garlic. I, I literally just bought this garlic five hours ago. You wanna tell me what is going on right here? Oh, what the? F we're just gonna chop these up fine chop, let's go. All right, she put the garlic in first. If you watch more seasoning, you know you never put the garlic in first because it's gonna burn and get bitter. So we're going in with the onions first, then we're gonna toss it like a damn basketball. Give that a couple minutes. Then we're doing about a teaspoon of red chili flake. Now we're going in with that garlic. Go ahead and get that coated in the oil. That way we can get some nice sizzle. And we're just gonna cook until that garlic is aromatic. All right, it looked like she did half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil, and about a quarter teaspoon of rosemary. Go ahead and mix that up before our garlic burns. All right, now we're doing one cup of crushed tomatoes. That's about half this can. Here we go. That is pretty damn on point. Ah! Nobody ever tells you it's gonna get popping. Now we got that sugar. Ooh wee, one teaspoon. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. Green bean, potato, tomato, yams, jam. And we're gonna give this a little mix. Go ahead and get all of that incorporated. Fresh from the cow's udder, we have one cup of milk. I might have did heavy whipping cream, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. Let's give that a mix. Hey. Listen, we're almost at the end of the road. Going on 11 o'clock. We've been at this for hours. We gotta get a quarter cup of ricotta in that pan. Ricotta is in. Okay, I think it's starting to come together like hers, no? And now we have to put in our butt or nut squash. So here we go. We're going into our boiling salted water. Let's go ahead and do the whole, the whole brigade, the whole crew. Cue the scary music. You wanna tell me why hers looks like this? And mine looks like that? Either the directions were not accurate or she was using a gigantic pan compared to mine because there's just a lot of liquid going on in here. I'm nervous. I can't lie, I'm nervous. All right, here we go. Ravioli's coming out into a strainer because I want to let that sauce reduce just a little bit more. All right, the sauce has been reducing for about 10 to 15 minutes at this point. It's supposed to be a 15 minute pasta. So uh, we're going to go in here and grab this starchy pasta water. We're just gonna add a little bit into here like she did. Now we're gonna go in and just kind of like mix this all together. I had high hopes for this one. I think that we just go ahead and plate it. I think it's what we do. We just plate it and we see what happens. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Definitely took longer than 15 minutes. It smells good. So let's go ahead and go in for a taste test. Hold up. That's really fucking good. Whoa, okay. I can honestly say the only thing I may change about this recipe is adding some cheese at the very end. But this right here, I mean, I, I can't even lie. This thing right here, this is a five star. That's really good. Wow, holy shit. 
It's, it's creamy, a lot of flavor, a lot of heat from those chili flakes. I lost count. Um, there are two things I would change. I would dial back the red chili flake because there is a lot of heat in there. It's not spicy, it's just heat like in the back of your mouth. And I would also add a cheese to this because it needs salt, right? She didn't put salt or pepper in it, but some Parmesan on top, all the salts from those cheeses would kind of balance everything out. And I think I would make this again. This is, this is really damn good. Great job. So if you're ever scrolling on TikTok and you see one of these four recipes, now you know you have my recommendations on if you should make it or not. We had some winners tonight, which I'm happy to report. And all I have left to say is please, if you enjoyed this video, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment below and let me know which one of these four recipes you would try. Seriously, we got a ton of great content on this channel. We're putting two videos out every single week. Again, my name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. And now you know what TikTok recipes you should try. I'll catch y'all later. We out. Listen, if there's two long, hard things, buy me, you know it's cucumber time. That's <laughs> just so crazy. <coughs> All right. These are long and hard, and we're about to cut them in. <laughs> Hold up. You ready? Mm-hmm. These are long. <laughs>